Hello. Welcome to AnimatedTeeth.com and our page that discusses what to do if you've swallowed your dental crown. The scenario we address in this video is this. You were eating a meal. While chewing, possibly you detected a hint of the loose crown in your mouth, or maybe you didn't, but then, without realizing what had occurred you went ahead and swallowed. Now, the crown is missing and clearly no longer on its tooth. Your conclusion is that you've swallowed it. As a first issue, there's the simple yet very important question of where the missing crown has gone. When a solid object passes down your throat, there are two paths it can take. Under ordinary circumstances, the item is delivered into your esophagus and ultimately passed into your stomach. However, in a minority of cases it may be that your throat's protective reflexes have failed and the crown has instead entered your trachea or possibly even your lungs. Under this scenario, at minimum, the object will need to be expelled or retrieved. This situation may create a medical emergency. Our page's text explains in greater detail. As a general rule, if swallowing your crown was uneventful, then the odds favor that it took the normal route and has entered your digestive system. If instead you experienced an episode of coughing, choking, or wheezing, well, those can be signs that your crown went into your windpipe. Although accurate more often than not, this simple evaluation unfortunately isn't a definitive one. And, in fact, the only way to know for sure where your crown has ended up is to have medical imaging performed, such as taking x-rays. So, at this point, you should go ahead and get your dentist involved. Let them know what's transpired so they can determine what need and opportunity exist for evaluating your situation and then advise you accordingly. Following on with the assumption that your swallowed crown has made it into your stomach, you now have two options to consider. Either doing nothing or trying to retrieve it. The do-nothing approach has some significant drawbacks. For starters, surely you realize how expensive your crown will be to replace, not to mention how much appointment time will once again be needed. The other big disadvantage is not really knowing your case's status or outcome. As our page explains, even if the odds greatly favor a swallowed crown's uneventful passage through a person's digestive system, knowing that it has, versus wondering if some possible complication has occurred, is certainly worth some effort. With your crown in your stomach, there are only two ways for it to come out either up or down. There is some potential that you might regurgitate it up, as in vomit. And an advantage of this method is that you get your crown back promptly. However, and as detailed on our page, there are some drawbacks to this approach such as the possibility of inhaling some of the vomit, thus creating the same medical complication mentioned previously about objects entering your trachea and pulmonary system. More basic than that, our page outlines reasons why we don't find much evidence that this method works all that well. So, consult with your dentist on this issue and make a plan. If you do try, be smart. Purge into something like a bowl or colander. Getting your crown out only to then lose it down your sink strain won't serve any purpose. There's a fair amount of published dental literature that addresses the issue of just letting swallowed crowns go ahead and pass naturally. Our page provides statistics and discusses potential complicating issues but, generally, the odds vastly favor, in the range of 90% and higher, the uneventful passage of a swallowed crown. And with that, your dilemma then just becomes an issue of time, inconvenience, and messiness. To play it safe, it makes a good plan to start looking for your crown in your very next bowel movement. Realistically however, the earliest it's likely to show up is more on the order of at least 12 to 14 hours. But keep in mind, it's important to practice and have a routine established so you don't overlook your crown early on due to deficiencies with your methods. Actually, even expecting your crown to show up in your stool within the first 24 hours is a bit of a pipe dream. Our accompanying page cites published case reports that range from 2 to 10 days. Instructive dental literature tends to suggest an end range of about 2 weeks before further medical evaluation should be pursued. Reports volunteered in this page's comments section range from 4 to 21 days. So, if you don't find your crown early on, there's no reason not to keep searching. And throughout this whole process, you should keep your dentist posted so they can continue to pass judgment on your situation. In case you're wondering, once found, cleaning up your crown isn't that big of a deal. This page describes how you can disinfect it using household bleach. Your dentist can then sterilize it once you get it to their office. Once retrieved and cleaned, 
the hope is that your crown can then just be cemented back into place. Doing so will in part depend on the status of your tooth, which can be evaluated by your dentist early on during your waiting process. For example, they'll check for complications like decay or tooth breakage. The condition of your crown will also be a factor, as well as an unknown. But if it came off your tooth passively and wasn't bitten on before being swallowed, there's a very good chance that it's still just fine. A very important last point to make is this. Your crown was made to fit your tooth while occupying a very precise location in your jawbone. If your tooth shifts, which all teeth tend to do if they aren't locked into position by their contact with neighboring and opposing teeth, a criterion that a tooth that's lost its crown cannot meet, the original crown may no longer fit correctly. So, very early on, your dentist must be advised about what's going on. They can then advise you about the need to make your tooth a temporary crown to prevent it from shifting. A temporary may also be needed for comfort, function, or appearance reasons. So, make sure you reach out. With that, we'll wrap this video up. We'd be remiss in not mentioning that our page contains additional and more detailed information so be sure to give it a read. Good luck with your search and we wish you a successful outcome. Goodbye.